Hey, to make warriors, and welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tickets. We get into the campaigns of Copper Tops Cannoneers, and last time we ran into a wraith and blew it the hell up, and then got a Gauss rifle, and a UAC-5, and a ton of ammo for the UAC-5, which I'm really happy about. Uh, but today, we're assaulting a base, and we're just going to do it for the kish. The kish manis. The manis and the kish. Apparently we need to back up a little bit, or can I just go over here? Now, the enemy don't like it when I land too close to them. Samurai, you need to get over the fact that we're going to be landing on top of the enemy. Oh, they're apparently also spawning there. Yeah. Apparently Samurai is well-founded in her fears. I don't quite want to spawn here because there's an opportunity slash chance that we spawn into a cliff and that's bad. So I'm going to spawn here instead. We are going to have to approach the enemy which gives them the free turn. Oh no, we're not. Okay, good. We've identified the enemy already. Lovely. What do we got? Ooh, what are you? Jenner. And a fire truck. Nice. Ah, uh, Jenner and a fire truck. I can deal with that. So obviously, we let them go first. Let them move. Let us kill them, and then we take the base. Somebody brought a lot of missiles. That's a lot of missiles. I mean, it's not a huge number, but it's a lot of missiles. It's less than 100. I would even say less than a trebuchet normally. So probably like 25 missiles or so. I'm gonna keep on waiting. I'm amazed that this, this Jenner is moving out of 12. Insane to me. Grab dog, get over there. Scout out the enemy, let's see what's going on. Yes, we have located the base. A copper head, light rotary rifles. Ooh, he'll have ammo. We're gonna have to hope that we ran him up the ammo. Because that would actually be super useful for us. There we go, he's still just barely within the range. So I can utilize that. Yeah, I have bad news for you. You're gonna have to run across water, and that's never fun. Really slow going, actually. Good to go. But I'm gonna be super aggressive about it and see if I can't, you know, I'm away. force my Double way try. through with just massed firepower. Receiving you. Confirm. Use this little hill as my sort of fortress of solitude. Standing by. You just don't like driving Roger through that. Train. Full speed. We're gonna prong in one side coming down the left, one side up here, sort of barraging down into things and see if we can't make right that work here. out. Mm -hmm. It might work. But it might not. So we shall we shall definitely be seeing that soon. Rather shortly. Oh crap, you're not in the <laughs> I just realized he's not in the hunchback. It's gonna be not nearly as good. Uh huh? Am I really just dealing with these three? No I'm not. I know for a fact that there's another force. It's only a matter of time before we turn them on. Oh! You who built this? How did you build this? On a primitive engine? Huh? Okay. Uh, somehow he managed to cram in two SRM6s on a primitive engine. That's boggling the mind a little bit. I want the rear rifle. I want the ammo off the rear rifle is what I want. I want to be able to hurt I'm people. Listening. A range in which they cannot respond. I got it. Don't think. Don't shoot. What if I can double run. rotary rifle something? Here you go. That'd be pretty interesting, actually. Oh, actually, no. It only has the single slot. Ah. So, unfortunately, I was thinking about the Kit Fox with double rifle. Yes, you wasted it. That's kind of why I was nudging him a bit. I figured my AMS could handle any sort of incoming that he could put out without tandem rocket launcher. So now I don't have to worry about it. Yes, Commander. Aye, aye. Into the water and now fire all of your guns with reckless abandon. Okay. Hey, you even hit him. Good job. It's only gonna get better. You tried and failed. Hopefully, I my fire support unit will be able to actually get go. into a position where they can start shooting you. And there's one position. Double time. Let's go. Gauss. Engaging target. 
Interesting. Um, I think you got the wrong idea of which target you were supposed to be shooting at. Orders? Double time. Uh, 32, 39, 24, take the 39. Affirmative. That was not a connection that we needed. An interesting piss. It has holes in it. I just don't want you to fire your mine launchers. How's it going? That is my biggest concern at the moment. Moving out. Because once he starts laying down mines, then it just gets annoying. Affirmative. Sprogue's still actually doing a pretty decent job of getting accurate fire down. Can't speak against him. Uh, what's that? Because he has been doing his job pretty well. Rather impressive, actually. Heading that way. Gonna switch over to a sensor mine. Ooh, we got him this time. He's beat. He's b blinking. I can speak. I swear. Waiting for orders. In a good solid position. Another nice dig into him. Commander. Can get enough people to dig into him. I can kill him. On the move. Full speed. Lasers. Target quiet. No, no, care of the tank, not the wall. Ready for orders. Well, he'll get it eventually. Location confirmed. And previously. To be fair, I am shooting at less than coin flip chances, but I still kind of was hoping you guys would be a little bit more useful up here. Oh, we're back about to take a whole bunch of mines. Yep. Saw that coming from about a mile away. Now life gets interesting. Yeah. Because you don't have jump jets. Gonna see if you can not 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 from that angle. Not from that angle you don't. Cause that'll be yeah, 38. I'm not willing to risk that. Yep. A little bit of mind damage. I I deliberately moved you to not be in the line of sight, and you still shot him. Sometimes I wonder if you guys actually really want to work together. Commander. You have an obstructed shot, that is not okay with me. Can I get the unobstructed shot? I sure we're not. Roger. Over here. Fire. Firing. What the fudge? You hit the AWAX! Pyro trying to kill the AWAX on that one. That that's that's not the target, buddy. I've never seen them miss and hit air targets. Looks like enemy reinforcements. I know, I do see his position, but I, I don't care. The area, Commander. I'm still seeing hostile contacts on screen. Dead. Darius, will you shut up and let me, you know, do my job? Do I tell you how to do your job, Darius? No, no I don't. You know why? I don't care about your job. Solid hit on the fire truck. Standing by. Oh, there they are. Hi, right, what do we got? Copperhead. Civil defense tank and a wasp. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, buddy. 32s. Yeah, no. Get yes, in the gunslinger position. Attack the entire world. Roger. Oh, we're through. We're through the armor. And we got him. Apparently he bailed. Perfect. Order. But he ejected from the mech. I can work with that. Running, running, running. Lasers! Ooh, two out of three. That's some of the best firing you've ever done. Or is taking this friendly fire thing to the whole level? <laughs> yes, he is. Uh, huh? Now my Gila Chopper is in trouble. Come back over here for a little bit. Dark bottom. Mines all over the place. Gary, you can have, handle a Jenner in a fire truck, right? I don't know if he got me or not. I don't think he did, but I can't say for sure. Yes, Commander. Bro? Location confirmed. Now that you're, like, right side up, can you please stop just slinging shells into Reporting. the building? door? Negative damage. Second of fire squad. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so the Jenner got all this tonnage because it has no core. Which I suppose is a solution to the problem, just... Commander. Not really one you'd probably want to make. Run out into the river. Affirmative. Fire all of our guns. Here goes. And be chill as a cucumber. 
15. Gonna be that wasp. Who did something, I assume. Copperhead. I just finished killing you. And now you're back. I gotta kill him again. And the Guardian Civil Defense Tank. Firing machine guns. 75 of my forward armor no longer existing, which is fun. What's up, boss? Okay, just stand still and keep keep plugging away. Target acquired. Working with these people, I'm discovering that I need to be much more explicit on who I want them to What's kill. That, because, oh my goodness. Physical 11. Uh, Tandem Rockets? Tandem Rockets could do a lot of good work here. Yeah, let's light them all the way up. Copy that. I don't want to have to deal with the status effects that he can dish out, so. Break, kill, death. Score critical hit. No. I'm good to go. How badly open is he, if at all? <laughs> Two health left. One more rocket would have killed him. Spurg, Spurg stands on top of a mountain, built upon his own follies. And move over here. Heading go. out. Now he can shoot whatever the hell he wants. Well, he's not going to shoot in this direction because he'll more likely shoot the enemy or the friends than the enemy. So, ooh, solid pulse laser fire on that one. Very uh, capable. Uh -huh. You're gonna come up here. Aim at him from behind. We're gonna sort of hope that the missiles land to the side. Not sensors. There must be Jeff. Ah, oh, it's down to one, I think. Something just went boom. But you didn't kill it. Now he'll be able to kill us. Ready for order. Unless Pyro can save the day. He literally has one health left. Copy that. Pyro's busy doing other things. You deal with that one health uh, fire truck. He's out. I'm Holy listening. Inquisition. So it is literally impossible for Holy to actually be able to kill oh, this truck from that side uh -huh. because of where he's currently stationed. Here we go. Oh, guys, 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 think what you're shooting at before you decide to blast your friends. Yeah, this is what I'm afraid of. Why is everyone shooting in the back? I don't know, what did you do? What did you do that makes everybody want to kill you? Because it seems to me like it was pretty serious. Maybe you should apologize and buy a fruit basket. Better yet, call up Discount Dan. He can give you a, a condolences basket. He'll take care of everything. No worries. Say kill things, I kill things. Kill enemy things! Time. I can't believe that everybody's currently psyched up, huh? apparently, according to the, the fact that we're now using the psyched up thing. Given how many folks are shooting him in the back. Zoom. Down now, almost never misses with those baskets. Exactly. I think we may have broken something. There we go. He died to chaff missiles or laser pointer. Vehicle down. One or the other. I'm not sure which. Yes, boss. That's bro. You're gonna adjust yourself entirely. Oh my God! You're just on fire. Is someone down here has an overactive imagination? Charge lasers to off because I can't support that. Um, bolt on rocket launchers to on to make up the difference. That looked like it was quite effective, actually. I am out of SRMs. Yeah, Commander. What I need is an aircraft with a gas rifle, on, so I can put Pyro into that. Because if Pyro were an aircraft with a gas rifle, I'm certain he could accomplish a great many things. If I do that, I'm just going to cook myself, and I don't know if that's healthy enough. Because I'm currently limited to speed, apparently, by the movement penalty of minus 30 meters, which is kind of rough. By kind of, I mean really rough. 
I did not double click on that, but okay. I don't think Kaogre is actually going to be able to get to the general. Not before, you know, Sh Pyro or Shade kills him. Probably Pyro, if Pyro doesn't kill him first. Right here. Roger that. Here, 32, sounds like a plan. Nope. I really need multi-target on my urban oh, mix. Yep. Because they have a 360 degree firing arc, if you've got a whole bunch of weapons and you're in water, you may as well just start shooting in all directions. Welcome back, Pyro. You've been trying to kill all of your friends at this point. Receiving you. I don't even know if I want to take this shot because there's a significant Confirm. chance to just shoot Kyogre in the back again. <laughs> or the plane, again. Tried to shoot down an AWACS. I don't know if you were here for that. Rockets, so many rockets. Now this mission was supposed to be a milk run so that I could finish fixing up the... Did you just suicide? Oh no, you drove into the fire and just died. Uh, huh? I thought for a second I was dealing with, uh, with suspicious cargo. Give him the tag arrow. Lighting them up. Just barrage incoming. So apparently, when he flies through things, it counts them as destructions on the audio files. Waiting for orders. Which is pretty amusing to me. Burn flip. Bad flip. Came out tails. Report negative damage. I suppose that's in Kyogre's favor because it means that Kyogre can get closer and closer and closer. I copy. Your inability to handle temperature is painful. Roger. Oh, you hit him once. Good, good job. Commander. Really no place for me to move. Which side would this be? Beer. Nice. Then your right side is your damage side. Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to get the shot that I want on you, am I? Which is unfortunate, because it'd be really nice to do that. I'm just going to sit here, and I'm going to shoot that wasp. Because I don't think that wasp has moved very far. Okay, maybe not all of my lasers. Good hit. Target good taking hit. a critical hit. We got. Give a pyro. Uh, would you like to destroy him? Nope. It's boring. No Unless luck. it's his own people, Pyro is not interested. Yeah. That's okay. I can sympathize even if I don't agree. There you go. 26, 38. Yeah, go for you. Hey, you managed to actually hit him. Good job. So what we're going to be hoping for is light rifle ammo so that we can continue to run more of the rotary light rifles because the rotary light rifles we see are pretty decent investments for what they are. Uh, they're very chill, which makes them solid additions to most most groups. I don't know what he keeps shooting at me, but it's not hitting. It might be a mortar. But he is about to be, you know, shelled, so... I think they killed both of them. Oh yeah, the only the only person left uh, Commander? is that Jenner. Jenner, explode, please. That did not hit. Negative damage. I'm starting to cook. Holy Inquisition. Oh no, he's not. He's, he is right there. Thought I got both of them, but not quite. Hauling yes, the ass. wasp was alive. Fire! Locking on it. He's not going to be alive for much longer, I don't think, but he is still alive. I think he's using Pyro DCM here. Well, I'm not sure. We'll definitely find out by the time we're done here. Uh, what's that? Not that close. That's about right. Heading that way. I'm just going to hit him with some chaff rockets and see what I can put out. Lighting him up. Apparently nothing, because they're all going to go into areas where he still has armor. Waiting for orders. All right. Berserker this... And if I turn hot seat on, can you get your 
Can you get yourself into range for physical attack? No. No, you cannot. Well, let's see how he handles this. And then, stay. Good job. Let's do this. Easily handled. Okay, I'm really tempted to just kind of give you the boot. But Receiving let's be honest you. with ourselves. Probably don't want to try it. Limpet mines. Ah. And a light streak PPC quick sell. So that's what he kept not Fire shooting at. Okay, that was ex that was supposed to be much more impressive, but it wasn't. Damage. Also armed with an AMS flare, much force. Very scary. It does make it harder to kill him. Orders. So Pyro, in the interest of not wanting to kill Kyogre, On my way. why don't you kill this wasp? Phase one. Failed to get up. Good to go. And now we punch. Actually, in this case, we're going to. No, we're definitely going to punch. Well, maybe not. Large lasers off. 27%. You can do it, Sprog. I believe in you. On my way. Melee attack. Putting my weight into it. I mean, yes. Negative damage. Pulse laser fire. Negative damage. One, two, three hits. Good job. Feels like a sauna in here. I mean, it is kind Pretty of a sauna. Damn hot. 59. I'm not willing to risk that at the moment. What I'm going to do instead is jump right in here. Oh, hi. And I'm going to fire just my SRMs. Which, of course, he has AMS for, which I totally forgot about. No luck. Orders. Kager, in the meantime, is going to kick this guy. Oh, he's also going to turn hot seat off. Hot seat off. It's a lot of heat. So, wait, no, I want to, I want to kick you. The kick, you're gonna shoot him. That'd be great. Here we go. Boot. Apparently, you managed to hit the one, one of the few places he still has armor. You did that multiple times, in fact, which is rather astonishing. Uh, what's that? Need to remind you guys, we are not taking this one for salvage. This is a money run. Just crit out his engine. Or you know you could shoot Hager as well. Wasp is moving. Yeah. Holy Inquisition is chasing. Mm -hmm. Almost got him cornered like a rat. Firing everything. That did not work, other than being a very pretty light shot. I'm going to need you guys to dig deep on this one. Good to go. I know accuracy is at a premium these days, but Damn. I go higher up the mountain to get a. There we go. Full speed, no target. So we can shoot down on him without the minimum range problem. Well, there goes a leg. I'll take it. Target. And will you explode? Not quite, but close. Uh oh, the Jenner got up. Now we. Now we're gonna get shot at. You had a chance to avoid all of this damage. To be fair, he actually missed every single yeah, shot, so... There is that. Sprog? Yes, Commander. Uh, Sprog cannot run because he's failed the kick, so I'm gonna sprint. Now Sprog can run. Roger. I am going to melt this mech down. Which mech may you may ask? Uh, the Rifleman. Here we go. Dropship landing. Mech destroyed. And at the worst, the uh, rifleman will take a nap. Which, since. Yep. Take a nap. Enjoy. Oh, apparently I didn't even need to kill the last guy. It's a little disappointing. I don't know if I would have made additional cash if I had done it. But a success. Beauteous success. But you may as well make sure that he dies. <laughs> If you let the wasp live, then what happens?
Hey, the general clearly is not defending that base anymore. He is out of it. We've taken it all. And 713,000 Seabills. Some money! We needed it too. I mean, not a huge amount. 35 cro fusion core, a uh, breaching shot, and a probe king QS. I don't know what that does. Seems like it's going to be some sort of beagle after probe, but I don't know. Pretty significant increased range in sensors, though. Is not bad. Need it for my back armor repairs? <laughs> yeah. Constantly getting shot in the back by your own people. It's what you get for being a melee pilot. We gotta get you into a bigger mech. A bigger melee mech. Of course, that means we need, you know, swords and shields, because a bigger melee mech will probably not necessarily have those things built in like your current mech does. Having it built into the mech is actually super useful because it means that uh, if it ever gets blown up, we get it back. Probe King is the strongest sensors and vision boosting item in the game. Not the best, but the strongest. So you're telling me it's heavy for what it does? Although it's also quick cells, so it's one of yours. 9,000, so we did make over 700,000 Seabills. Three days worth of repair, which is great. Uh, which means by the time our pilots are done napping, we will have the Hunchback back. Gladiator's almost ready too. Oh, it's, it's looking good. So five days off. Spend your time relaxing. Uh, criminal Ties, we're going to stand our ground and fight. Gamroth is feeling good because he realizes that I can throw down. Like, wow, my commander, he's actually willing to just beat the crap out of people. Just because they said that they know me and I don't like them. Bay. Nice to see you down here in the hole. Oh no, what happened to my hunchback? What did you do to my hunchback? It's probably just an actuator. I hope it's just an actuator. Yeah, upper leg. This mech has been surprisingly survivable. Which is high praise. We did not get that light... Rifle ammo, though, which is bugging me. Oh, I need more. Double heat sink kit in this thing would also go very far. Do a lot of great things. Also, the heavy pharaoh, which gives it a ridiculous amount of armor protection. The tank. There's no denying that it's a tank. Barracks. Check of our pilots. Yes, Commander. See if Commander. anybody's ready to roll. Ready to Holy roll. Inquisition. Oh. Holly, you like to do melee stuff, right? What's your current level? Plus three initiative. It's really useful to get you in there quick. We do have a defensive gyro, and we also have a gyro XL. Ready for order. Uh, but I'm going to be building those into some of the mechs that are currently being produced at the moment. So sadly, not quite on the field just yet. Give you more. More negative initiative randomness. And we'll grab a quick mission. Three, three, six, so 300,000 Siebels for 3 of 15. I mean, that sounds like prime cash. It's the Republic of the Inner Sphere. I'm not actually fighting the Republic, but I suppose that I am. With that urban mech, put the hunchback back, back down. And yeah, I think that's all I need to do before I set my people back out into the wild. Kill people! I mean, Defense Jarrow would work fine on the Hunchback. It would, but I would rather put it on the Gladiator, because the Gladiator is bigger. And we'll possibly have twin PPCs if I can somehow finagle more PPCs. I wanted to build it as a twin, as a mini hammer, with twin PPC and maybe a medium laser as a backup, and a double heatsink kit. A fairly large feed core to allow it to get in close. I think the Gladiator has some melee characteristics, but I don't remember. You gotta get rid of that Clint. That Clint is just absolute trash. Single SRM-6 me 3 medium laser and a 45 ton design. Like, even with a big core, that's totally dumb. 270 core? What, on the Hunchback? Probably, if that's what we have, then that's probably all, what, all that we had at the time. The Hunchback was very much a scratch build together, and the only thing we've modified it are a little bit of the weapon loadout, but we haven't touched any of the, the big major internals of it. Oh, and the Gladiator? Uh, I would want a 300 if possible, because it's a 55 tonner, isn't it? Wait, where would that put it? 
five times fifty-five is yeah, a big number, two hundred something. Two seventy-five? I don't remember. All right, let's drop down. Let's kick butt. Take names. Oh good, I found the item. You're gonna be right there. The closer I can be, the happier I will be. Two seventy-four, of course. Yeah, I think I have one, maybe. Is that an urban mech? That looks like an urban mech. Hey, it's an urban mech. Urban mech wasp scimitar with a rack too. Oh, I think I have racks. What's up, boss? I think I have a rack too. So if I can, if we can random our way into his ammunition, that'd be great. So the rule is turn the urban mech into utter scrap. Same thing with the wasp. They've got gear that I don't care about at all. Because I want the ammunition. All I want is the ammunition. That's why. Because <laughs> it can do stuff like that. We tried building in BTA. Uh, because one of the things that Bloody did was he took... I don't know if he took my suggestion or if it just so happened to coincide with me having suggested it. But one of the things I had been starting to push for was uh, tabletop impl implementation of damage balanced on rate of fire. Which I thought was a pretty fun idea. And it was based off of the uh, the Solaris source book. Oh, no, no, no. This is a very good one, actually. Hmm. Kind of sucks, actually, that I'm not going to be able to get it. And so the idea was that you would be able to have an AC2 that only did 10 damage like it's supposed to. Because it's a five da uh, times 5 conversion if we run off the AC20 as our sort of guide. And then you could shoot it like four times. Four times was my initial one. Three times is what I sort of brought it down to. Because I wanted it to be four times for the AC, uh, AC2. Right mm -hmm. And twice for the AC5. The balance numbers on that don't quite check out, unfortunately. I did check and try and see if I could finagle it into something that sort of worked. It did not. For order. But Bloody ended up using something similar where he gave the AC2 multiple Got shots it. on its rate of fire, which is great. Um, and then he had piercing ammunition, which we tried to f to create a kit fox Standing based by. on the idea of having an AC2 with piercing ammo, and that Got what it. it would do is it would go in, and because it shot three times, it would attempt to capitalize on the idea of being able to quit somebody's internals before they could do anything useful didn't work but that was the idea it ended up just being not not a contributor to the fight in any sufficient way and then there was a, a general rework to piercing piercing weapons that made it so that you couldn't just instantaneously pierce somebody which was really disappointing but that's what it is. you are alive and I kind of don't know how you're alive I'm listening I mean, there is that, I suppose, but li good listening skills are not necessarily good survival uh -huh. skills. Medium laser. Good, two hits. I'll take it. Receiving you. She. Order as well. I think I'll take the easy shot just to make sure. Roger. Yeah. Wasp is dead. The Urban Mech is the biggest danger order. anyway. Although we did kill the Wasp in the worst possible way. By destroying him like that, what we've done is we've populated the loot table with a whole metric ton of stuff now, unfortunately. Targeting right. So, a little less than ideal, but I'll still take it. I am out of FRMs. Surprise, the scimitar survived Advice. that. On my way. Scimitars normally do not survive that much concentrated firepower. On. Still not working. He's still there. Did that just rotate? Ow! That broke a lot of things. Uh, huh? So, that Ultra AZ-10 is very nice. Hopefully he'll never hit anybody ever again. Kyogre, can you step on the dude? Alright, turn on your hot seat. I'm gonna turn on your Berserker mode. And I would like you to step on this guy and kill him before he can do anything to anybody that we love. Copy that. Come on, Kyogre! 
That was a miss. Okay. So okay. about that accuracy problem. No, don't shoot my panther. I don't have a replacement for his ERPPZ. The damage is minor, Commander. Commander? Jade, get down the hill. Target this guy's face. On my way. See if you can't kill him. How is he not dead? Good to go. I'm very confused as to how this scimitar is still alive. It's boggling my mind. Scimitars are normally very poorly armored. Okay, you missed that. That's not good. Negative damage. Negative damage. Still didn't kill him. Getting hot in here. Kager, stop him. Location confirmed. Locked on for physical attack. You missed again. Negative damage. Watch my heat. I'm taking damage. Amazingly, you're not dead though. Cooking my internal structure. Which is kind of impressive. I telling it, yes I am. Yeah. Locking Okay, good. We take that out. Now we just need to kill Mr. Ultra Auto Cannon Man, and it's all up to you, Pyro. Ready for orders. Pyro, we would very much prefer it if you did not shoot him in his right arm. I know I'm asking a lot, but if you could just focus your your wrath on his left side, that'd be okay. Um, I mean that that's a start. Uh, huh? Is a start. Heading that way. Come over here. I'm gonna trigger the light A missiles and the bomb mines on this one. Lighting them up. <laughs> Please tell me you blew off his left arm as not his right. No, empty. you. Of course you did. Uh, that rifleman is vibing. <laughs> uh, he would love to chill. Unfortunately, he's on fire. Let's do this. Got a small amount of fire on it. On the move. Barrier. Receiving you. Aye aye. My heat sinks can't vent fast enough. There Take you a go. damage. Take a nap. My mech is overheating. Way over the red oh, we're line. We're gonna go phantom mech on I'm this one. Down. We're gonna get a shot. Sure. On my way. Left Double side. Time. There we go. Taken I mean, at this point, that's I'm most of the mic. Uh, huh? Heading that way. Pull back. Watch some fire. You're a stick, buddy. Get out of the mech. Orders. Ain't nothing you can do. Targeting Would have been nice if those missiles had not destroyed that uh, side torso. I would have liked to have had an ultra auto cannon. Successful. Ultra auto cannon 10 would have been a very nice addition. I would have tried to fit it on the on the Kit Fox. Only 13 tons, plus ammo, but it was not to be. If we can get the rack ammo at least, that would be an okay consolation. But I get the feeling I'm going to get a heat sink, a medium laser, and a wasp part. That's my bet. We'll see just how far that'll go. We got lucky though that the uh, that the panther didn't get hit harder than it was. Let's see, <laughs> worse. Heavy pharaoh. Okay, I can kind of use that. Structure generic and internal combustion engine. Really, game? This is how you repay me. This is how you treat me. On the day of my daughter's wedding. Don't accept this. Well, I suppose we don't have much choice. Just trying to find the components to build an ammunition based weapon can be very frustrating at times. <laughs> Especially since the shop doesn't have anything. Like, it's a literal empty shop. At least it was when we last checked it. I'll check it again to see if anything's populated in it, but... That empty shop is annoying me, because I need ammo. And people told me, go to Battlefield Planets. I went there. There was no ammo. Uh, is there going to be a Christmas break planned? I don't know anymore. <laughs> uh, I think the 25th is on Friday, which I don't think I want to stream on Friday. Because I'll be busy. 
with, you know, family. Yule died and all that stuff. So close. Eleven days. Eleven days and we can bring another mech into the fold. Tick tock. Tick tock. Ah, five days. Five days and we'll have the dagger. The dagger is a full workup product. It is everything into the mech, ready to go out of the box when it's done. The gladiator is not. The gladiator still requires some construction. Uh, it's been fixed, but it needs stuff put into it, which doesn't take that long, like two weeks, but... the Like I said, the gladiator is a, is a repair project. It's not actually uh, fit anything into it, so repair, 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 remove destroyed component, all that, so. It's close, but it's not quite there. And yeah, uh, so when we first che checked over the month, yeah, the store was empty. Completely and totally empty. Which is super frustrating. Like, even with a price increase, I'm willing to work with that, but... Ugh. This dagger here, though, this is a twin ATM-9 dagger. Which, you know, pretty cool idea, no? Lots of ATM ammo, warfare suite... Artemis 2 fire control system in the head. Huntress weapons computer was removed. You can install a legend killer cockpit or something like that. I don't know. It's bugged. All right, let's try a save and load. Save game. We're going to call it bugged store. Because I, I would like to be able to buy ammo. Ammunition is needed. Can you imagine if Rogue Tech went full in on the whole decaying ammo situation? Like, you had to pay, you had to buy every single round and i don't mean like oh at the end of the mission you pay out no if you had to like find the tonnages of ammo and keep them in stock it would it would make it would make ballistic and ammo based weapons worse than they already are in the game because right now missiles are king and energy is king uh we we gave it a breaching shot head that's not great <laughs> that's not so great because ATMs are nice, but we don't have any high explosives, and I don't know if I would ever be in a situation where I would do breaching shot, breaching shot, breaching shot, because I don't have that computer on the on the mech. Pulling pulling the multi-target ability away from pilots is annoying. Like I get the balance argument, and I don't necessarily disagree, but coming from a long history now of this at this point of playing with pilots who can easily get multi-target, that can be frustrating. We have a pro Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, eventually. I don't think I'll ever put it in there. I think I'll put it in something a little more, with more oomph. Something that I really want to use. Because whatever mech is a stopgap mech. It's a mech that is here, it's okay, but I don't want to pull it off the line in order to refurbish a mech that's mediocre where I could spend my time instead putting more time into a mech that's really cool. Uh, then Marauders getting the Gauss Rifle. It'll get the shoulder mounted Gauss Rifle as, my, as most of my Marauders end up doing. I do not have a turret mount, which is a, which is a shame because the turret mount is a plus two accuracy for one ton, and it can only be located one turret mount per mech on a shoulder location. It basically allows a, a shoulder mounted weapon to be as accurate as an arm mounted weapon. Then we can't tweak the vehicles. That's coming. Uh, how long it's going to be? Uh, sometime next year, I would assume. I don't know for sure, but I would assume sometime next year we will see vehicle modification. I know that there's been a lot of work being put forward in that realm, and I don't think that the road tech devs would ever be satisfied without doing that. Like, I can't imagine they're they're satisfied with the implementation. They're happy with the implementation, I'm sure, of vehicles. Oh, whole game crashed. The whole game died. That's not a great sign. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, let's see if we can load in then and see if there's actually a store. The hell? Also, there's a button on the launcher that says that says click here to unnerf clan tech. And if it crashes again, I will. Uh, so I'm going to be pushing that button. Why is it dark? Uh, because my software is set up so that you don't get to see my desktop unless I want you to. And I don't want you to. The only reason why I have it set up to, to full desktop capture for Mega Mech is because I have not figured out a way to isolate it so that it'll show you all of the windows that pop up from Java and not get totally bugged out because it totally bugs out if you if you try and capture a specific game window. So that's why I can't do that. But I would if I could. It's just kind of, you know, a little uncomfortable. 
408 days into this campaign. We have had that Marauder for like hundreds of days at this point. But it's finally being, finally being fixed. Yes, it crashed. I, I, I said it crashed. <laughs> I mentioned it crashed. Yeah, if it crashes again, uh, Gray, I'll send in some logs. New patch, 1.0.8.9. Uh, I'm on 8.8, uh, .8, so I'll have to I'll have to update later. Still remember the time Sprog pointed out a spoiler in my catch you good times. Yeah, I got really angry at him for that. <laughs> I literally went back and deleted that VOD. And then I went into that VOD and I edited it when I put it up to YouTube. So that the spoiler was removed. It was, uh... It was nuts. I want to run a multi-rack mech again. Oh, it's either store or recruiting thing. That, what, crash game now? Ah. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens when we come up. And if not, then we'll, you know, on the stream here. We're just about to the end of here. I want to see if there's any ammunition and if there's anything I can do to mock up a couple of other mechs. Because we do have a Kid Fox that is sitting there taunting me. Because we got the Kid Fox. It's a clan mech. Except it's not. It's the pirate one. Which technically is the better mech. Um, Omni mechs are not better than Inner Sphere mechs, except that they don't lose parts when they explode. Which means a battle mech will always be more customizable in a superior way, in my opinion. Because you can specialize it better to suit your exact needs. Although Omni mechs, of course, have infinite, well, not infinite slots, but a great number of slots, which can be very useful. Do you ever feel like you lack critical, critical information? Yes, that's why I go into tactics, the arguably most useful skill in the game now. It went from being the most useless skill in the game to one of the best skills in the game. Ah, we're back. Uh, and Omni are cheaper to rebuild. There is that. Whee! Lots of stuff. Apparently Republic of the, of the Sphere is acting the fool. Oh, is that what they were talking about over on the, the Rogue War Discord? They said you need to upgrade to update to the, to the newest version if you want to see some really cool stuff for the war. Was it the introduction of the Republic of the Sphere? Is that why what we're talking about here? I don't know. I, I generally don't actually pay all that much attention to the war. <laughs> Until I'm involved, I just kind of wait for it. Yeah, Star still bugged. Or either just not available here. So we'll update to the next version. We'll see if that ends up fixing things. I'm going to do a one quick check on my mech bay. So the Cattle Master needs to be sold and is currently carrying ammunition that I need for other things. Because it has two tons of light ammo rotary, uh, rotary rifle. That gives it 60 shots, which is just enough to run a single gun. I need two more tons of that to run two of them, because I have two of the guns. And that'll allow me to do some pretty funny stuff. Trouble, of course, being I don't have a mech that can do that. Is the planet labeled as abandoned? Uh, and it shouldn't be. We came here because it was a battlefield planet, because we were looking for ammo. So agriculture, aquaculture... Uh, battlefield, which is the reason we came here. Industry level civilization, large population, medium gravity, moons, rich Terran world travel hub. So literally the opposite of abandon. We came here so that we could get ammo, and we I have not found any good ammo. It's killing me. A kid fox that flies, though, just feels wrong. Just really feels wrong. Also, I can't run this radical. I want to run the radical, I can't. That would be so cool. I have run Ultra Auto Cannon Kit Foxes before. They're hilarious. Could run the Heavy Rifle. Kind of not a fan of it. Because the Heavy Rifle does minus 25% damage to armor. I don't have Sabo rounds. I just have Normal Heavy. Which only gives me like 6 shots. So really trying to build an ammunition build on this at all is just not going to happen. I do have MRM ammunition though, so what I can do is lean a little bit into that MRM capability. An MRM 20. Might be able to do something there, but it's only a single missile slot. Just don't have ammo. I need ammo for this. Otherwise I can't construct anything. How much to be to just to fix this so I can start putting it into the field? 
And do I even want to? That becomes another question, is it may just even be a good idea to sell this thing. To sell this and this to open up some space. Getting rid of my, my less useful 30 tonners. Something. This is basically an urban mech though. It has most of the same hard points. Except it also has a missile hard point, which is pretty useful. Yeah, I don't know if I wanna what I wanna do with it. But I'm looking forward to the marauder. 39 days to get this sucker back into the field. 39. Three days on the gladiator. By the way, whoever did the model for the gladiator, very sweet. I do like it. I'm gonna pull off this missile hard point because it makes it look a little bit dumb, but I do like the, the very Vulcan, bulky-esque version that you've got going here. See who has too many angry queens this is. Hey, don't be mean. We've only got two hanger queens at the moment. You're just about ready to go. Oh, it did the bug thing where it, where it's putting in an energy weapon instead of putting a, a missile hard point. Okay, we're gonna wrap things up here. Uh, hopefully the next version will fix our store so we can actually buy ammunition because we're desperate for it. We have guns, we just don't have the ammo for it. Uh, I need a lot of ammo, a ton of a lot of ammo. So we need the money for the Marauder. Uh, we don't need the money for the Marauder yet. I mean. 39 days until that thing's even ready to start putting a clan xl engine in it which that'll be two and a half million seagulls by that point we may have that anyway but we'll see so we're gonna put an end in here for youtube so to my youtube people thank you very much for watching i have been Tarek. if you like what you're saying hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see the notification every single time i release one of these videos press that little bell icon leave a comment and i will see you all in the next episode Ta -ta.